Now, police determined that the woman died shortly after being injected in the buttocks with silicone in her hotel room on Saturday. In Morris's case, Miami Gardens police say he injected the victim's buttocks with cement, mineral oil, and fix-a-flat, then sealed the incision with super glue. It, anytime anybody says, you know, why would anyone want to do this? I say, you, it's not an issue of want to. It's an issue of you have to. It's something that I really wanted is something that I feel that needed to be enhanced. And a lot of people that I know went to this doctor and I liked the outcome of it. So I felt that I could, I could take the risk. I think the motivation is like many, many other cosmetic procedures that people choose to do, which is to try and get their body to look like what they imagine they want their body to look like. And in the case of people who are transgender, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of negativity or dysphoria that they experience because their internal gender doesn't match their body. Yo pensé, bueno, yo me empecé a inyectar porque yo miré que muchas personas estaban inyectándose el, el silicón y básicamente este miraba los cuerpazos bien hechos y nunca nadie miraba que se quejaba. So, entonces yo decidí también por hacerlo. They right away see the results. Um, but they don't really think about the complications of the future. I mean, if that's something that I can possibly die of doing, then I'm okay with that. 